Watch you guys got another video here for you. We've all seen the dreaded blue screen of death once in our lifetime and as you can see it become quite problematic for some people to get their data off. Now maybe uh, you've got a blue screen or maybe the case is that you're hanging on the uh, window splash screen or maybe a case that you've uh, got viruses on the system or it's a, a duff driver that you've got on there that's causing the blue screens. Maybe the PC doesn't boot, you get spontaneous reboots, and you just want to get all your data off. I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of using a, a free program called Fast Copy to get the data off of a non booting machine. Okay, now you will need an external hard drive or thumb drive, or you maybe need a, a network drive, whatever may be the case, as long as you can transfer the data from one drive to an external drive or network drive or thumb drive then you should be good to go okay so what we're going to do is reboot the system and I'll show you how to do that okay so we'll be using Hiren's boot CD here because uh, that's got fast copy built into it and there's tons of different types of uh, backing up sort of software built into this so I'm going to be using the mini Windows XP here just let this load in Okay, so what we need to do here is click on the HBCD menu, which is down here, and then go Programs, and we're looking for Backup here, and there's loads of different options here, but we're just uh, interested in the Fast Copy in this one, but there is other types here, TerraCopy and, and uh, some other types, but we're going to be using the Fast Copy, as I said, nice and simple. Okay, so the source part will be the part what we're going to come from to get our data off of and this is the actual drive and as you can see here it's been renamed to D drive and that's because we're in a live environment so what I'm going to go for here is all the user account and it's called test in this case under the users uh, it's going to be called test and that's going to take all the data I, I need off of there now the destination part should be an external drive but because I'm in a, a virtual box here it will only show stuff that's on the machine in this case uh, we'll pretend this is an actual external drive it's called uh, E drive and archive that's where I'm going to stick all my stuff okay but you will see it say the same hard drive and that's because it is but in your case you want to be picking a USB thumb drive or an external drive or a network drive or something like that to send the data from one computer across to the uh, drive itself okay so from there I would advise you to verify the actual uh, copying of the data that's always important I'm not going to do it in this video um, but then you've got some other options up here if you wish to use them I'm just going to go straight for the execute here full speed and uh, you've got some differences that you can use here if you wish uh, no overwriting uh, difference if newer um, that'll only copy stuff um, it's pretty self-explanatory really copy, copy stuff that's uh, new on that drive it will leave the rest but I'm just going to go for uh, size and date here and then going to click on execute and you'll see it say the same hard drive mode here and that's because it is going to the same drive it will be no good to you doing that because obviously the drive doesn't boot and you won't be able to get your data off so just ignore that part for this video yours will be a USB thumb drive or external drive and you can see it giving the total reads total writes and the amount of total files it's copying across and the amount of time it's taking and the transfer rate okay so that's now finished and as you can see the amount of time it's taken and the amount of data that's been transferred across now I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like okay I did say to you that we was in the archive folder here and as you can see there is that account there called test and it's copied all our data across all our documents uh, pictures and everything else very quick and easy and that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.